Hey guys, breaking news, breaking news. We've got, okay, yesterday's crazy. Let's just get this straight. You got coffee? This is the deal. We had the ninth largest earthquake in the history of the world. It happened just off the coast of Indonesia. 8.6 earthquake. Two hours later, we had another mega quake of 8.2. They felt these quakes as far as Singapore. We're talking Singapore. Are you serious? Here's the thing. But only, a, 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 I think the largest tsunami wave was like 31 inches. Praise God. You got two mega quakes, 8.6, the ninth largest in the world, 8.2, and nobody gets hurt and nobody dies. God spoke to me. I said, God, what's going on? Praise the Lord. But... How does this happen? And he says, signs without sorrow. So, wow. But wait. Mexico gets hit with a 7.0 yesterday. What? And Texas gets hit with absolutely three to four feet high of hail. Have you ever heard of three to four feet high in hail? What? I couldn't believe it until I saw my own eyes. I did a video, and you need to watch it, Texas, the, the great hail in Texas. But folks, while this was all going on yesterday, God wasn't done. We just don't know about everything. Hail was falling in China, and this was bad. Let me just read it to you. Hail kills three people in China and injures dozens as the storms sweep China. Now, this is the BBC, and I'll put the link down below. Three people have been killed and many more injured in a series of hailstorms across China. The deaths on Tuesday and Wednesday were in eastern uh, Providence. Uh, 900 homes were damaged. In the southwestern portion, 25 people were injured as hailstones that were three and a half centimeters or one and a half inches. Well, that's a pretty good size hailstorm. Whew. In diameter, they weighed 18 grams or six ounces. You get hit with a six ounce, you get hit with, you're not just gonna bounce off, that's gonna knock you out, that could put you in a coma. It was damaging buildings, destroying crops. The storms forced more than 700 people from their homes in the area. Power lines were brought down. Telecommunications were disrupted. And local governments sent medical and relief teams to the affected regions. What? Three people died from hail. Dozens injured. And I said, God. So I'm breaking this to you today because it, it is, it's, it's biblical. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Now, in the video I just did about the great hail of Texas, I read a verse to you. It's in the book of Revelation. It's the 11th chapter, verse 19. Let me read it again, and then I'm gonna to read to you a verse also in Revelation that may pertain to the veil, to this, this amazing hail in China. I believe it does. Now, let me read to you first, Revelation 11, verse 19. The Bible says, and the temple of God was opened in heaven. And there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake, which we had. <laughs> Three major quakes yesterday, two megas and great hail. Well, this Texas had the hail, three to four feet of hail. Texas wasn't the only place that was having hail of biblical proportions, of epic proportions, of apocalyptic events, but also in China, which I just read it to you. Now, flip your Bible to the book, stay in Revelation, but go to the 16th chapter, and let's read the 21st verse. The Bible says, And there fell among men great hail out of heaven, Every stone about the weight of a talent. Now hang on. And men blasphemed God 
because of the plague of the hail. For the plague thereof was exceeding great. Now, when you study the, the weight of a talent, it's 100 pounds. Another, another concordance says 75 pounds. Either way, 75 pound, just imagine 75 pound bag of salt falling or a 100 pound bag. I mean, it's enormous. Obviously, that's not what happened yesterday in China or in Texas. It was great hail in Texas, there's no doubt. Three to four feet of hail is great hail. Watch my video. Go watch it right now. Go watch it. Because I show you hail falling in Texas. And literally, it's incredible. And floodwaters, it's incredible. But the hail that fell in China killed three people. Injured dozens. Destroyed homes. That's great hail. It's not the size of a talent. But it is great hail. And what this says is, Plagues are coming. The intensity. Just think, yesterday, 4-11. And remember, 11 is always the number of judgment. It was 9-11, the World Trade Centers. It was 3-11, the earthquake that hit Japan. Yesterday, 4-11, you have an 8.6 earthquake off the coast of Indonesia, ninth largest in the world. You have an 8.2 earthquake two hours later in that same area, except about 115 miles away. You have a 7.0 in Mexico. You had a 6.9 earthquake today off the coast of California and Mexico. Yesterday, you have the 8.6 quake, 8.2 quake, 7.0 quake in Mexico. Hail, three to four feet of hail in Texas. I said Texas. And now you have hail, great hail also yesterday in China, killing three people and injuring dozens. And you can read in the scripture, hail is a plague. Especially, it starts talking about great hail as signs in the end times. Now, be very before you start getting on here and start arguing with me, calm down. I said the hail yesterday was not of a talent, but it truly is great hail. When people die from a hailstorm, you have to admit that's great hail. Is God trying to get our attention? Is he sending plague? All these things happened yesterday, folks. Oh, and by the way, they found a little child in a coffin alive in a morgue. This was in Argentina. This child, this child was born and died. They put the child in a coffin in the morgue. Twelve hours later, the father and mother went to the morgue to say their last goodbyes to their dead baby. When they got down there and opened the coffin in the morgue, the baby was alive and the baby is still alive. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yes, this happened in Argentina. Okay, I believe it happened April 3rd. I'm gonna dig it up the link again. I read it, read it today on my radio show. I just didn't write the link down, I should have. But it happened in Argentina. This is the kind of stuff going on. People have said to me, Paul, Pastor Paul, just tell me it's okay. Just tell me everything's going to be okay. No, I'm not going to tell you it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay if you know Jesus as your Savior. It's going to be okay if you're waiting for the King to come. I'm looking up without sin. I'm looking for Him to come without sin unto salvation. I'm not dreading the coming of the Lord. I'm, in, I'm anticipating Him. Anticipation. Anticipation. He's making me wait. He's keeping me waiting, but I know he's coming. He's coming for you and he's coming for me. Have you got your sins washed in the blood from that tree? Have you been born again? He's coming, folks. He's coming. Are you saved? Are you saved? See, I'm not talking, I'm not getting up here and, and, and giving you some uh, you know, mumbo jumbo. I'm not talking to you with a fluffy puffy message. I'm telling you, the apocalyptic events are upon the earth. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Oh, this is just the beginning of sorrows. You haven't seen anything yet. It's time to get right with God. Send me a personal message right now. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Do it right here. A personal message. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved.